I'm Linda Tinson. I'm a Director of Rural Business at Leddingham Chalmers with an office here that we opened in Stirling in 2012. This is at the market. We've come to the market because the farming fraternity are here and we do rural work. So that's what we do. I'm a farmer's daughter and I was a partner in the farming business as well. So I bring to it a lot of experience firsthand of how these things work and also a lot of experience of succession planning and so forth that you possibly wouldn't get if you came from a different background. I think the big difference with what we do is compared to a specialism of say corporate finance or litigation in the high court or so forth is that we have a general bag. There's property work, succession work and diversification of businesses. So there's sort of three strands there, but they all interlink. Biggest challenges are probably getting people to engage with us especially in the rural community it's quite difficult to get people to open up and come and see you in time before a dispute occurs. What we try and do is we add value to the business so it's showing the public and the rural communities that we're not here just as money grabbers. There's a, there's a lot of thought around going to see the lawyer all they're interested in is their hourly rate but in actual fact without the success of the rural businesses we wouldn't have a job so it is a question of just simply getting things to work for them. For new employees, when we're looking for somebody, I think we have to look at somebody with a passion for the rural environment. I think they have to be willing to learn, if they don't already know, about the rural people and the communities and what is important. So I'm a trainee solicitor with Leddingham Chammers. I'm coming up towards the end of my traineeship, which is a two-year period that we have to do once we graduate to qualify. I spent my first year of my traineeship in our Aberdeen office. I did rural work and I did a bit of commercial property work, so it's kind of linked. And then I came down to work in the Stirling office for my second year, focusing solely on rural business. Well, particularly with rural business, there's lots of different aspects to it. So that my role is really varied. I could be working on partnership agreements, I could be working on option agreements for development, I could be writing someone's will, I could be drafting a lease. So there's a huge variety in what I do. So that's what I like about it. I think probably one of the big things is being able to work in part of a team. With our office, we're quite small, so we're all kind of involved in all sorts of different things. You have to be able to rely on your colleagues for support if you're busy, you need to be able to lend your support for your colleagues. You need to be a good communicator so that everybody knows what's going on and things don't get left behind. Things can get picked up easily if you're not there. So the two main things would be good communication skills and ability to work in a team. It's a huge variety of topics we deal with. I think it's probably akin to being a general practitioner in the medical sense with picking up strands of expertise in lots of different areas. So it's really about being open-minded, about being focused on specific learning patterns. There will never be two days the same. It is not a boring job. In terms of becoming a specialist in other areas of law, I think it can get very repetitive and dull. And this is not repetitive or dull.